My name is Mark Raykep and I'm the owner of Fiberglass Freaks. And what we do for a living at Fiberglass Freaks is build 1966 Batmobile replicas, full-scale cars, and this is our job. And this is our 19th Batmobile. We've been doing it professionally for 10 years. And what you see around me is a fiberglass body built onto a, uh, onto a Lincoln Town Car frame. And all the gadgets work. Everything you remember from the TV show, whether it be the roll-top dashboard doors, whether it be the labels like this anti-theft activator becoming the start button, the bat beam antenna grid raises and lowers this antenna, the hood and the trunk open with the electric actuators, just like this here. And it's a street legal car too, with park lights, with uh, headlights, brake lights, turn signals are right here self-canceling with five different settings. Five light sequence flasher. The detective scope is also known as the Robin the Boy hostage finder. Did you know that Batman had the world's first Wi-Fi hotspot? He did with the remote bat computer switch. Using radio, Batman was able to connect with the bat computer uh, in the bat cave using the Batmobile. On the rear end of the Batmobile, everybody remembers the famous rocket exhaust tube. Ours actually does shoot out a flame about that far. There's a propane tank inside of the trunk. And then we also have the parachute packs on it. The packs are real, but the contents are not for most of our customers. But every once in a while, somebody says, I would like to have working parachutes on the car. So we take care of them as well. Every detail is mirrored exactly as it was on the number one car, including even the rear antenna. This is the exact antenna that George Barris used back in 1966. We're officially licensed by DC Comics to make these, by the way. We're the only company in the world that does. Fiberglassfreaks.com. And yes, it sounds just like it is. You'd have to be a freak to work in fiberglass. That's the way to remember us.